Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the topic mathematical formulation of a linear programming problem. For this we will consider an example. We have this example of a company which manufactures toys of two types, type A and type B. Now, for type A toys, 6 minutes are required for cutting and for type B toys, 8 minutes are required for cutting. Then for assembling, toy A or toys of type A requires 12 minutes and toys of type B require 6 minutes. And there are at most 3 hours, 20 minutes available for cutting. And for assembling, there are at most 4 hours, 10 minutes available. And the profit is $60 for the toys of type A and $30 for the toys of type B and we are supposed to find out the number of toys of each type such that the company attains Maximum profit. For this, we consider two decision variables x and y, where x is the number of toys of type A manufactured by the company and y is the number of toys of type B manufactured by the company. Now we have limitations on the times for cutting and assembling for the toys of two types A and B. So this means we would have two constraints, cutting constraint and assembling constraint. Now as we have six minutes are required for cutting of toys of type A and the number of toys of type A manufactured by the company is taken as X. So we have 6X is the total time required by the toys of type A for cutting and 8 minutes are required by the toys of type B for cutting and we have y as the number of toys of type B so 8y would be the total time taken by the toys of type B for cutting and we have at most 3 hours 20 minutes available for cutting so this means 6x plus 8y would be less than equal to 3 hours 20 minutes which would be equal to 180 plus 20 minutes or you can say 200 minutes. So 6x plus 8y is less than equal to 200. So this is the cutting constraint. Now next let's find out the assembling constraint. Now from the table as you can see that we have 12 minutes available for assembling for the toys of type A. So 12x would be the total time taken by the toys of type A for assembling. And 6 minutes is the time taken by the toys of type B for assembling. So 6y would be the total time taken by the toys of type B for assembling and we have that 4 hours and 10 minutes are at most available for assembling. So 12x plus 6y would be less than equal to 4 hours 10 minutes or you can say 240 plus 10 minutes that is 
215 minutes. So 12x plus 6y is less than equal to 250. And so this is the assembling constraint. Now we have the decision variables as x and y which would be non-negative that is x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 and these are the non-negative constraints. Now let's find out the objective function for this problem. We are given that $60 profit would be attained from the toys of type A and $30 profit would be attained from the toys of type B. So, profit from the toys of type A would be equal to $60x since we have that X is the number of toys of type A manufactured by the company and $60 is the profit attained on manufacturing toys of type A. In the same way, we have profit from the toys of type B would be equal to 30Y dollars. Now, the total profit would be equal to 60x plus 30y dollars. Now, this profit needs to be maximized. So, we take z be equal to 60x plus 30y. This is the objective function for this problem and as you can see that this is a linear function of x and y which are the decision variables. So we now have the constraints and the objective function. So mathematically the given problem now reduces to maximize z equal to 60x plus 30y subject to the constraints six x plus eight y less than or equal to two hundred which is the cutting constraint then twelve x plus six y is less than or equal to two fifty and x greater than or equal to zero y greater than or equal to zero so this is the linear programming problem written mathematically. So this is the mathematical formulation of the given linear programming problem in which we have to maximize this objective function subject to the constraints which are determined by a set of linear inequalities with variables as non-negative. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of mathematical formulation of a linear programming problem.